This video will teach you how to solve division using this strategy known as hangman division. Let's start with a story problem. I have 30 stars. If I put 6 stars in each bag, how many bags will I need? So here I have a model, and here I have how hangman division is going to look like here. But before we get started, we always need to write our number sentence or equation first so we know what we're doing. If I have 30 stars and I'm putting 6 in each bag, that means I am taking 30 and dividing it by 6. And that is going to equal my answer. I used a variable here, b, to stand for how many bags I'm going to need. Another way that you, some, you see division is like this. 30, and this symbol right here, also means divide by 6. So 30 divided by 6. Now hangman division looks similar to the second way here, although they just take um, this end part here and extend the line down to look like a hangman. I'm going to show you what happens in division with a model and then how that is recorded in hangman division. Alright, so because I'm dividing it by 6, I'm first going to take out one group of 6. Right, because I need 6 stars in each bag. Which means over here, I have one bag so far, and in that bag I used 6 stars, so I'm going to subtract that 6 from 30. Why am I going to subtract that 6? Because that means I've already used that part and I need to see how much is left to keep dividing into bags. So I have 24 stars left right here. This time, instead of only putting, um, making one bag, I'm going to make two bags this time. Do I have enough stars for that? Well, let's see. Here is another bag of six stars, and here's another bag of six stars. Because I did them at the same time, that means I did 12 stars in two bags. So here's the two bags, and that was 12 stars. I subtract it and I end up with 12 stars left, which is what you can see right here. So I'm getting closer to having all my stars put into the bags. I have enough for two more bags, and I did that at the same time. So here's my last two bags of stars. Two bags of stars would mean I'm using 12 altogether. When I subtract that, I end up with zero. As you can see, all my stars here in my model have been put into bags. So how do I find my answer then? Well, the answer is going to be along the side here in hangman division because this is the, how you keep track of how many groups of six you are taking out from 30. So two plus two plus one is five. So B equals five. I, have, I need five bags. Let's try another problem. This one's a little harder. There's more stars involved. I have 50 stars and 5 envelopes. How many stars will go in each envelope evenly? Okay, so let's start with our number sentence or equation. 50 divided by 5 is equals E. E here is going to stand for my envelopes. All right. So let's see. I could start with one, one group of 5 to put into my envelopes. But instead of doing that, I'm going to go directly to two groups just to make it a little quicker. So here I have two groups of five that I put into envelopes so far. Okay, two groups of five means that I use 10 of my stars and I subtract it and that means I'm left with 40 left here. So I have to keep dividing or separating my stars into those five envelopes. So that means so far I've only put two stars in each of the five envelopes. So I have 40 stars left. I'm going to continue taking out groups of 5 to put them into my envelopes. So this time though, instead of taking out another 2, I'm going to take out 5 groups. So why do I choose to choose to take out 5 groups of 5 instead of 2? Well, because I still had such a big number left. I had 40 stars right here. Okay, so here's where I start using my multiplication facts for 5 to help me take all a whole bunch of stars and put them into envelopes at the same time. So 5 times 5 is 25, and if I take those 25 stars out of my group, I am left with 15. As you can see, I quickly took a huge group of number of stars and was able to 
um, use my multiplication facts to help me take a big chunk out. This will help make your division go quicker. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do is I have enough for three groups here, as you can see that I circled. So I'm going to take out three groups of five, which is 15, and as you can see with my model over here, I am left with nothing. So I have taken all of my 50 stars and put them into the envelopes, into the five envelopes. Well, how many does that mean I put into each envelope? If I add up my side here, five plus three plus two is 10. So in each envelope, there will be 10 stars. And another problem, getting even bigger. Okay, so the bigger we start getting, we start to realize that it's not very useful to draw a huge model when there's a hundred stars. That's a lot to draw and a lot to work with. So really, we might start transitioning to just the hangman division over here. So even though this is a big number, if we use what we were doing in here with using bigger chunks, five chunks of five instead of just two or one, then we can take out a whole bunch all at once. So here, instead of taking out one group of five, or two groups of five, or even five groups of five, I'm going to take out 10 groups of five here. As you can see, if I were to have this model, I would take that chunk right away. So 10 groups of five, or 10 stars, 10 groups of five stars each, is 50. If I subtract that from 100, I end up with 50 left. So right away, I, in one step, drastically reduced how many stars I had in my pile. Now if 10 groups of 5 is 50 and I have 50 left, I can do that one more time and end up with nothing left. So as you can see here, all of my 100 stars were quickly organized into groups here, but really it's not even efficient to draw the model like this. It's better to start doing over here with hangman division because in two steps I was able to put all of my stars into groups of 5. Adding that together. So 100 divided by 5 is 20. So even if the number looks big, if you start taking out bigger chunks of the number you're supposed to divide by, then you will quickly come to your answer. So then, how does hangman division work if it's just written like this instead of with a model? Well, the same idea applies. So here I have 42 divided by 7. So if I needed a model to help me figure this out, I could think of 42 stars in my head and that I need to take out sevens, groups of sevens, to put those stars into bags or envelopes or groups. So I can start using my facts of seven to help me remember what or how to separate my 42 into groups of seven. So if I, I can use my songs or I can use my facts to help me. So let's start with three. I know what seven times three is. Seven times three is 21. So when I subtract it, I'm left with another 21. Well, already, you can see that I can take another 3 out. And I'm left with 0, which means I have no stars left. So if I were taking 42 stars and dividing them into 7s, groups of 7, I would end up with 6. So 42 divided by 7 is 6. So let's, what do we do if the numbers get bigger? Well, the bigger the numbers get, you might want to ask yourself if you could take out 10 groups of that number right away. Let's see, 10 groups of 8 is 10 times 8. So that means if I had a pile of 96 stars, I can immediately know that I'm going to use 80 of them and have 10 groups of 8. And that leaves me with 16. Well, if I have 16 stars, how many groups of 8 can I make? I can make two more groups of 8. I'm left with nothing on that side, which means I have organized all my pieces into groups of 8. So 96 divided by 8 is 12. So even though that was a much bigger number, all right, 96 divided by 8. Now this is the same problem, but could I do this in a different way and still get my answer? Let's say I don't remember what 10 times 8 is, but I do remember what 8 times 5 is. I could use that to help me to find my answer. 8 times 5 is 40. 
right? So right away, I'm organizing 96 into groups of eight. If I organize eight, or uh, five groups of eight, that's 40 right away that I'm taking out. So I end up with um, 56. Okay, so now let's think about our song. If we sing our song 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, right, which was 5, 48, 56. Well, if we use our song to help us, we would know that 7 groups of 8 is 56. And I'm left with no more stars or no more candy or whatever it is we're measuring in to organize into groups of 8. So 5 plus 7 is 12. So there's different ways you can use your hangman division here. It doesn't have to be the same. Yours might look different than your partner's. However, as long as you are taking out groups of eight until your pile of things has been all organized, then you are going to um, be correctly dividing. All right, so how can we do a really hard problem for our last example? 228 divided by six. Okay, now because this is such a big number, we're gonna start thinking big chunks, okay? So the highest multiplication fact that we usually feel comfortable remembering for six is a 10. So 10 groups of six is 60. Okay, all right, so then when we subtract it, we get, let's see, 20, 220 minus 60. If you don't remember how to do this with a subtraction, you can do a quick little arrow language off to the side to help you subtract down. That is okay. So I'm going to subtract 60 all together. Let's subtract 20 first to get to an easy friendly number, 200. And then I need to subtract another 40 because all together I need to subtract 60, which means I'm left at 160. Did I subtract 60? I did. Where did I end up at? 160. So I already have that 8 here. 220 minus 60 is 160, and that 8 is left over. Okay, so I could do another 10 groups, but here I can start doubling. Now, these aren't necessarily ones that we know in our head, but if I know that 10 groups of 6 is 60, if I double that, I could find out what 20 groups of 6 would be. If 10 is 60, 20 is going to be 120 because that's 60 doubled. And look, I can take a huge number out of my pile and organize it into 20 groups of six. And I'm left with 48. And now we're down to where our multiplication facts will help us. Six times eight is 48. And now I'm down to nothing left to organize. So how many groups did, was I able to organize my 228 into sixes? Well, 10 groups of six here, 20 groups of six here, and eight. Altogether, 38 groups of six. Wow, so even if it's a really big number, think of bigger multiplication facts here to help you organize your piles into those groups that you're supposed to do very quickly. This is how you do hangman division. Go ahead and give it a try, and good luck.